So here we are on the pier. I thought that we would check in and I am so thrilled with these pots. I can't tell you how happy I am because of, you know, the drip line that we ran. I can come down every day and check um, to make sure that at sunrise that it watered for a good 15 minutes for me. And the roses don't have black spot. Um, they don't have sawfly larvae. And so I don't know if that is because of the wind down here that they're not up near other roses, that, um, you know, they like the full sun. Who knows? Uh, is it the compost that I put down? Darn good compost uh, by Great Big Plants. Uh, before I move on, this is LA Park and it's looking really, really so pretty. Um, so again, I did Great Big uh, Roses and I did Rose Tone. This is Spirit of Freedom. <laughs> And for whatever reason, it's really only blooming on uh, this side. Uh, so hopefully we'll get some blooms over here. But oh, what a pretty, pretty rose. Let me show you the size of the bloom with my hand here. Love it. All right, let's keep on heading down. This is Parade Day. And I've had a very small little flush from Parade Day. This is sunset celebration and sunset celebration has pointy leaves and a nice very light apricot color just three blooms so far no fragrance this is a drift rose i wanted to try that down here to see how it performs it has been blooming non-stop non-stop in spite of having a very minor case of powdery mildew. For me, all of my drift roses have powdery mildew. So I'm not sure if I want to keep them in the future because I just don't want things that require more work than, <clears throat> than needed. This is Garden Party, lots of blooms on it. This is I Carumba, and it was a new introduction from Jackson and Parkinson this year, and it is really fun to look at. A little bit of burning on the leaves, but that just started here at the end of the flush. Let's, this is tucked back here. Look at all these blooms, and so you can see the uh, yellow on the reverse. So I would say it's a, a rusty color, a light rust. And as it ages, it ages more to a pinky coral color. Okay, down here we've got Garden Sun. Garden Sun is looking really, really nice. It is a Mayan rose and it's got some pinker, pink striping on the outer petals. This is how it ages down. So it looks really nice. And then I'm loving these colors here on the end of the pier. Uh, my husband picked where he wanted each rose and I'm so glad that he put all of these colors together because they really work. This is Adobe Sunrise and it has been prolific for us. The lighter color is going to be a little bit of a, a light coral and then the fresh blooms are an orangey shade. Look at those little tiny buds. But Adobe Sunrise has been great. That's a Mayan rose. This is Disneyland. Unless it's mismarked, it's not what I expected. I don't, I, I just think I expected um, orange and a pink, which this is, but I just didn't expect, let me stand in front of it to give you um, shade to look at the coloring of it. So what do you think of this? I mean, it's very pretty, but I'm not sure what I expected, but it's been very happy. And if we look down further here, this is Anna's Promise. And Anna's Promise has been really fun to look at with the um, this coral color and then a lighter yellow in the center. Look at the um, darker coloring on the edges. It's just a really pretty rose. And this is a Caruth rose. This my husband picked up at a local nursery. It spoke to him. And this is Polynesian Punch. 
and it has been in bloom non-stop since we got it and it's got these wonderful dark glossy leaves i prefer this of the bloom uh, this i prefer this look to the bloom where it's more of that hybrid tea look a nice tight formed bloom and then the pink outer edge but this is typically how it looks the entire shrub <laughs> and those blooms stay on there forever but it's a great rose so far and it's very happy so down here i can't wait to show you this one when it goes into full bloom this is centennial star this is a very old bloom that has been here for a week or more so it just stays on very long another mayan but you can see all of these buds that are getting ready to flush on this rose i'll probably miss it while i'm on vacation um, but in the event that i can catch it i will post a picture for you all on my instagram and then this is pop art um, um, it has had a small flush, but I see that it's got um, buds here that are getting ready to push. And this is a Bedard rose. So we are so happy with the pier, the drip line, and the health of these roses down here. And I will see you guys in the next one.